How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Gianluca aka Dr. Calcano and I'm a first year family medicine resident working and studying in Canada but nonetheless I decided that as I was applying for residency last year after medical school was coming to a close that I was going to start my USMLE medical board exams down in the states experience. In addition to writing all of the Canadian board exams I was also going to start my process in writing all of the American board exams too. I've talked about this extensively in the past as to my reasons why, but basically I just wanted to have everything done and contained within medical school. I want to finish this part of my life because afterwards, if I ever need these things in the future, I don't want to have to worry about studying for them when I'm 40 or 45. I would rather have everything done now. And in addition, I really think that all Canadian medical students and international medical students should need to write the American board exams. I think the exams themselves are very challenging and the way they phrase their questions and the things they ask you to study for are really important. I feel like it makes you better at clinical reasoning. But nonetheless, I wrote step one, I passed step one. I wrote the Canadian board exam about a month later and I passed that one too. Then I wrote the step two CK exam uh, about a month after I wrote the Canadian board exam and I failed. And I made a video talking about it here and uh, I posted it and I was super disappointed. Uh, with that result and uh, now I passed. <laughs> I wrote it again in December, when was it? December 13th, right before uh, I went away and um, I got my score back about two and a half weeks later and I, I don't think I've ever been more nervous in anticipation waiting to open those results. I felt good immediately after the exam. The exam felt like it was okay. But when I got the email from the, the licensing body saying that the exam marks were posted, I could just feel my heart racing. I, I remember, uh, and, and I just, I had to open it as soon as possible. And I did, and I saw it and I passed and I'm so excited. And I, and I had to share it with you all because a lot of you wanted to know how I did on the exam. I put the last video up and a lot of people were commenting that you wanted to know if I passed or failed this time around. And we did it. And I, and I really, really mean that I don't think I could have done it without everyone that watches the videos and comments and things like that. And I am super excited now to report that we're done with step two, finally. So I like for my videos to be insightful, to try and help other people. That's why I go and, and make these videos at all in the first place. And I think the benefit of this video here will be if I give you guys my score and then what the process was like in me preparing, how I think I could have improved and also what I did to, to get it and some of the landmarks that I saw along the way. Um, it was studying for step two for me in residency especially the beginning of my residency was a process I talked about in my vlog that I, I hope to never have to go through something like that again. It is incredibly challenging. And first of all, let me just say my, um, my goal throughout the preparation for me over the course of about two to two and a half months was to not put studying for step two ahead of my residency. I needed to dedicate myself fully to residency. And that's why step two was kind of reserved for like a, a part time on the back burner. And with that, I was up studying, you know, if I if I got home from work at like six o'clock, hit the gym for about an hour, I did my regular residency studying for about two to three hours a night which meant that I was studying for step two like super late between like 11 and three in the morning, especially closer to the actual deadline. Um, but I, I'm really glad that it paid off. And, and the benefit of me documenting and the reason why I said that it was really everyone that watches my videos that pushed me forward to actually do it is because I could remember so many nights where I was exhausted. I was exhausted after a hospital shift. I was exhausted after my regular studying and I really didn't want to have to study but I didn't wanna to have to come on YouTube and make a video telling people that I failed again, even more than I didn't wanna to have to lose more sleep. And that's why you all pushed me to do it. And I feel like a, like a better doctor on the other side. I really think that there is immense benefit to writing the step exams, especially step two. I, I really found that my differentials were greatly improved afterwards and would recommend it to any Canadian student or international student that was on the fence about whether or not they should write it. So in terms of my actual score itself, the passing score for step two as of recently, it was, it was upgraded a little bit, is 214. I scored a 219 and we'll just get this out of the way in the beginning. 
no, a 219 is not a particularly competitive score. It's really not competitive at all. Um, and many American students, if they're applying for residency, you definitely want a score that's higher than 219. But on the other hand, you also want to take time off and really study and give it your best in terms of studying for step two. My goal was just to pass the step two exam. And that's why I was more than happy with a 219 to, to get that score. It's not competitive to match into residency. I'm already in residency. I just wanted to pass. And that's why for me, that score is exactly what I was aiming for. I was aiming for like a 214 or a 215 because really it was just clearing the bar. And to have cleared it by a few extra points, yeah, it, it saved me a little bit of trouble, definitely. But uh, I am personally happy with my score. It's a win for me. Now, the first time I wrote the step two exam, my my prep really wasn't there at all. I only really studied for the first time inconsistently for about a month. My score was about, it was, I think it was about a 196. This second time writing it now, I've increased my score by more than 20 points. And the way that I did that was by going through the majority of UWorld. I thought that like for step one, step two was really brought together for me in terms of studying and the centerpiece of it was UWorld. I did 79% of all the questions. I also did the reviews. My percent correct on average was I think 63 or 64%. I'll put all the stats up on the screen right now. And I, I can't speak highly enough about UWorld. I, I really do think that anyone studying for this exam needs to start with that. Not sponsored, but just in my opinion, would really highly recommend UWorld studying for step two. But one thing that I saw with the exam, with the actual step two exam compared to step one, is that the way that they they worded their questions was not as consistent with UWorld as step one was. What I mean by that is when I was studying for step one with UWorld, the questions were worded almost exactly like they showed up on the actual exam. Whereas for step two, and even some of the practice, the official practice exams, the forms on the NBME website, I found that the way things were worded were also slightly different than the way UWorld did them. And that's why I would say with certainty that it was also really, really important for me to use the official practice exams too in my preparation. Um, so we'll talk about that really quickly because that, that was quite uh, the interesting thing. I only did two of the official forms and I did the forms uh, within two days of my actual test, of my actual test day. I think I wrote the test on the 13th. I wrote my first official form. I think it was form 11 I did first. Um, and I scored a 208, which is actually a fail on the step two exam. And this was after, you know, two, two and a half months of studying. I was super disappointed with that result, but I was also scared, like incredibly scared with that result. And over the course of the weekend, it just lit like a fire in me. It really woke me up to say, you're so close, just give it a little bit more of an extra push. I went back and I really reviewed that first form. Why did I get things wrong? Where did I misinterpret certain questions? And what parts of my knowledge were still lacking? And then I used that and then the next day I wrote another form and I jumped from a 208 to a 219 really, really increased my score. 11 points in one day is pretty exceptional, I think. Um, and then the next day uh, I wrote the exam and I got a 219. So my score on the actual exam was exactly what it was on the form the day before. So I really do think that that is probably your best indicator of how you're gonna score on the exam. So now I guess the final question that I would wanna know, and maybe some of you might wanna know too, is what comes next, right? We did step one, we did step two, all the Canadian exams are all wrapped up and taken care of. And that just leaves step three. And step three um, is a two day exam from my understanding. I still have to do a lot of research on step three. If anyone knows how to best study for it or tips that you wanna to give to me, I, I would love to hear them. So please go ahead and leave those all down in the comment section below. Um, and I got a buddy of mine. He's, he's one of my only friends that I know that is also going through the American uh, exam process right now. And he was saying that maybe we should go ahead and write it this summer coming up. And they only offer it down in the States. So we'd probably have to fly down to one of the States that we're offering them and write this two day exam down there. And, uh, you know, on the one hand, um, I feel like I should probably take a little bit of time off from the exam process. Um, I was doing 
Between all the studying and residency and teaching at the university and doing our Movember charity and hosting the soccer game and all that, um, 80, 90 hour weeks, it, it was crazy. You guys didn't see me on YouTube for a while. Um, I feel like my girlfriend was just a few days away from putting up uh, wanted posters that are missing person posters up around the neighborhood because she could probably <laughs> didn't see me for a while. Um, and, and I think now's a good time to go ahead and uh, see some of my friends that I haven't seen in a long time. Uh, and, and also, a really big honor, one of my buddies is getting married uh, next November or December. And he asked me to be the best man. So I, I think I should probably shelf some of my studying responsibilities, keep up with residency, which is already pretty space occupying, but then really take a central role and, and fulfill some of my best man obligations, which I'm super excited for. Um, really happy when, when he asked me about that. That's something I'm really looking forward to in addition to everything else going on but uh who knows who knows if i feel like i can start studying maybe in may and plan for a july test day for step three then i'll be able to knock this one out of the park technically i still have another six years because you have seven years to pass all three steps once you pass the first one um step one but I feel like if I could just get this out of the way now, again, I'm that type of person. I don't want to have to save things for later on. So it might be something I look into, but uh, videos will be going consistently now. I want a big push up on YouTube in this new year right now. And for the first time in the last two to two and a half months, I feel like myself again. I feel like it's just a huge weight lifted off my shoulders. I was able to fix a big mistake that I personally thought that I had, which was not passing the, the step two, but that's all taken care of right now. And it feels great. And I'm glad to be making videos for you all again. And, um, you know, wish me luck with everything. I hope everyone's going through it, um, on their own part and everything's going well for you too. And we will see you all very soon. I'll have more videos out this weekend. Um, and everyone take care. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas to everyone that celebrated and uh happy new year. See you around.